Hey Superlings, this is Doc with AppSumo, and today we're gonna to be talking about Queue Promote. Now, what's the difference between Queue and Queue Promote? In this video, you're gonna find out the difference and why you need to get this deal for your business today. Okay, Superlings, we're going to be looking at the platform for Queue Promote, but before we do that, make sure that you get this deal before it is gone. Now, Q was part of our Black Friday sales, but Q Promote is a little bit different. Now, what is the main difference between Q Promote and Q? Now, Q is meant for you to curate your content and to have really good posts curated by a real human so that you push it out to your audience. But Q Promote is to supercharge your content and allow your message about whatever you wanna to promote to be able to be amplified. More people will be able to hear about whatever you're trying to promote. How can you use uh, Q Promote? What is the purpose? Why should you even care? Well, this is actually uh, really important because just like in an episode on the Noah Kagan Presents podcast, he was talking about Harry uh, from Rideshare, the Rideshare guy, Harry, on his podcast. He was talking about PR and making sure that you get out there and get recognition and get coverage. Well, one of those things that you can do is supercharge how people can hear about you or influencers talking about you. And I view this almost like a mini PR tour or campaign you can do. So uh, we're going to look at the platform. We're going to look at what you can do with this. And I'm actually showing you a case study of what we're doing for our business right now and uh, how you can start yourself. So Q Promote is so easy to get started. After you get that coupon code, you log in, it asks you um, just basic questions, your email address using the coupon code, and then it's basically gonna bring you to this screen and it's gonna say promote a post and you get started. Like it is that easy. I thought it was gonna be a little bit e harder than that, um, but it was pretty easy. Now, for an example, we're gonna show what we're doing with our client, uh, with our company and promoting to our um, potential clients. Now, we just finished uh, a project with uh, VaynerMedia with the 4Ds program, and we created the Gary Vee Content Model 2.0. So we teach um, different businesses how to create content in a structured way so they get authority and positioning with their brand. And then on top of that, the tech that really helps them streamline their business, their workflow, and their systems as they produce that kind of content. So. This is something that we're going to be promoting at uh, probably at the end of the month, and we want more people to know about this. So we wrote this blog post, we wrote this, uh, we did this video at VaynerMedia, and then we did this huge slide deck, and we we're actually seeing how can we promote this. Well, after hearing uh, Noah's podcast and seeing that Q Promote just got released, we said, why don't we start putting this content out and seeing the traction? So what we did was. We um, first went on um, promote, uh, Q promote, went here, put in the, the article and we linked back to the blog. But also what I liked about Q promote, it actually uh, tells you the difference of how you should be writing your post that gets in front of that audience. So when it's LinkedIn and Facebook, it's telling me to do a certain, uh, a, a certain way to write my uh, description of the program or that post. And then on Twitter, it's telling me, hey, you should use hashtags, you should be at, you know, um, adding someone when I'm um, talking about the, for, about, the, about the post, so it catches people's attention. Um, I thought that was really cool. It, it wasn't, you know, overbearing. It was just giving really good suggestions. And then afterwards, they, they shot confetti, and they're like, yeah, you're ready to go. So this is just a way that we can see the traction. And I love right here, it tells me the clicks, who's sharing, how much sharing, and right there. Now with this, you get for the first, um, the first breakdown for this, you get 25 credits. 25 credits, it lasts 30 days. I'm okay with that. Let's try it. So again, we're gonna be coming back and updating you on how it went. Uh, what we liked about it and uh, the pros and cons of it and uh, in, in seeing further details. But what I like about uh, Q Promote is it's super clean. It's really easy to do. I felt less stressed doing it. And, uh, and again, it, it 
it satisfies another thing that we need to do with our marketing different than just curation and making sure that we have things in the hopper. Um, I really think that every business needs to create a PR tour or a campaign that allows them to be in front of new audiences all the time. And Q Promote really allows it to be simple and systematic for you to get in front of other people's audiences. And uh, again, we'll, we'll see what happens um, after this goes live. Uh, there is a section or there is a time frame where they're actually reviewing it before they start promoting it. And, um, it, you know, there are rules of what you can promote. But overall, it's a really good tool for businesses that are trying to get in front of other audiences and test what kind of traction they have with their content and their content strategy. So, again, Sumo Leaks, take advantage of Q Promote. Look at how you can start implementing this in your business today to get the word out of, about your product, your service, or about you as an influencer, as a freelancer, all those things. You can do everything to promote yourself using Q Promote. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Write in the comment section below in this video to, to ask us questions about what you want to promote, how you can start creating content, where to look for content, how can you do that quickly that fits your style? Write that all in the comments below. Let us know, and I'll be talking to you very soon.